Even just our drive-in, within all the mango trees and all the birds and all the like, the hymns in the mornings and different times, the tea smell and the tea smell plus the mint that's growing and the lemongrass, that's something that you can't get no matter how descriptive the writing is that you're reading. The place, the location is really special. This farm in Nevada, uh, actually I never travel to a place that is that's like to Nevidaya. It's really organic farm, right? It's really magic. Yeah, it's really good. I think the students were really able to come and engage with the academic subjects that we were talking about, global citizenship, structural violence, poverty, inequality, global economy, but at the same time able to um, just be on the land and learn from the farmers and learn from the people working at Navdanya. I think Studying together with and learning together with a diverse group was really important. And um, they were all connected with Cape Breton University. Uh, so we had, there were three students from China who accompanied us. And there was uh, someone from really whose roots are in Latin America. Uh, we had someone from Quebec. We had uh, some few Cape Bretoners. Um, and it was just really, number one, interesting for us all to be out of our own element. Well, it's an experiential learning course, so the idea was to have students who are talking about global economy, agriculture, um, all of these sorts of things, to actually go and be on a farm and to participate themselves, get their hands dirty, and they literally did. It's the first time that I really experienced this, yeah how it look like. I work on the fields and um, my job is to uh, pull out of the grass the weeds from the earth. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Because when you touch the land, you can feel a sense of belongings. Like we are all grow up from the earth and uh, then we down to the earth. The course is called Global Citizenship and the Compassionate Society. So compassion. What is it? What does it look like on a daily basis? Compassion is a starting point. Compassion for ourselves and compassion for others. And I feel like Navdanya is a place that is really trying to live that uh, with all the challenges that, that that entails. And it's not about becoming a perfect person. It's about practicing on a day-to-day -day basis uh, with the challenges that we face wherever we find ourselves and breaking down those barriers as individuals and then as groups and then as communities. The short amount of time that you're there, but it's days that are full packed, that your brain's going constantly from morning till night. You really get in tune with that, which I find it's fantastic when you're trying to grow as a person and trying to grow as a group. We could share and laugh together and, uh, you know, wash our clothes in a scrub bucket together and uh, work in the field together and uh, try out all kinds of new food together and well everything was new and learn together. So that was really rich. If I'm being fair, if I'm being respectful, if I'm listening compassionately, if I'm implementing all these skills that we've learned will in turn help for me to level up to uh, being a kinder human. How calm it is here at the farm but at the same time, how much is done and how a whole philosophy stands behind everything that is done here. And people here are, they're genuine and they're devoted to this philosophy. And I find this really inspiring. And so I would like to embody this also, if I can, in my own home. So I had been using the works of Dr. Vandana Shiva in my courses for many years and she writes about earth democracy and uh, amazing woman, environmentalist, feminist, uh, one of the original tree huggers and a real inspiration to me and not just because of her work and her brilliance intellectually but because she was somebody who to me practically demonstrated how one person can make massive change. And so she started the Earth University 
Navdanya in uh, uh, Uttarakhand, and she uh, has had been helping, working with many others to support uh, local farmers to switch from uh, large-scale agriculture to organic small farming, um, and to uh, build more self-reliance and community. In a very short time, they were able to provide an example at Navdanya, a uh, barren, totally barren piece of land, turn it into an absolutely lush, productive piece of land using seeds, using a way of farming totally uh, dependent on organic processes, uh, composting, uh, using other natural, you know, insects and other ways. And it's really amazing. And now working with one million farmers, imagine, one million farmers in India. This kind of course really is designed to give students an opportunity to reflect on their own skills, their own intelligence, and to engage with one another and to practice sort of communication skills, conflict resolution skills, while at the same time sort of reflecting on their relationship to the earth and to other communities. Navdanya is impactful because it has built its own little community that is truly living its values. There's no uh, hypocrisy here. It's, um, you, you're living on a, a, a sustainable biodiversity farm and you're eating food that is fresh and local and grown right behind where you eat it. The seed bank. Going and spending an afternoon in the seed bank was, I think, another cool thing that highlights. You can read about that. You can only, yes, it's a room where you save seeds, but no, physically being there and touching them and seeing them and how they crumble and why they're so important, and then walking out into the fields and seeing them grow, that's what's important. And that's what really highlights what the, like, why Nevdanya is key. The small group talking, because we always keep sharing, uh, sharing our thoughts without any limits. Yeah, just sharing, uh, and uh, it makes me keep thinking, yeah. I'm learning a lot about the farm, but also myself. I'm kind of surprised how much I'm learning about myself throughout the process, because this is a course, but it's also a group experience. It's also a challenge to be in India for the first time in my life. I've learned a lot. Um that things I never thought before in my life, like global citizenship, like the privileges, um, like what we can do to help the nature. I'm an MBA student. Most of the thing I know is about business stuff, how to earn profits, how to calculate. Um, but the thing makes me uh, think more about how how did how does economic develop means and uh, how does uh, it affect the whole um, planet or even to our life. I miss it. I feel that it was such a wonderful, impactful moment in my life. There's faces and images from Navdanya and people that I met that I know will also will really stay with me. I know being at Navdanya, there's been so much focus and so much effort that's been put into like regenerating the land and that didn't happen overnight. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, I, I think I'm taking back a lot of patience, um, but also a, a little vow to myself to live my life a little bit slower. Have made their life at Navdanya because they're so passionate about what they're doing and they've made so much progress and it's, it's exponential. So I think we can do the same here. So I think that stayed with me, uh, that, um, yeah, that can happen here, can happen in our country and on our island. As we went back to Cap Britain or back to China, I'm a only a single person. I can't change the society. I can't change the whole country, but I can change myself. 
at least I can train myself to live environmental friendly, to protect our environment, and develop for the future. And I felt very proud of the group, of what everybody together had achieved, because we didn't really know one another beforehand. And so for me, the success of the course was that we were able to create a sort of mini community and to practice the values that we were talking about that we hope to practice in the world. <laughs>